Let's see what quality means in our day-to-day -day lives. Quality is something which all of us want in every field of our life. We need good quality water to drink, quality food for our health. We expect better quality in anything and everything we buy, from a ball pen to the LED TV, from vegetables to the packaged food, from a toy car to the luxury cars, from vada pav to pizza as well. We expect quality in all kinds of services we use, be it the delivery of newspaper that is delivered every morning or the electricity supply, city bus or taxi, the metro or aviation. We all are customers at present and we always decide a set of rules in all of the cases above. If the supplier fulfills our requirement, we say that quality is good. Similarly, our customer expects us to provide quality products or services. Okay, now let's go through some definitions of quality. Fitness for use. Quality Guru Juran defines quality as fitness for use. Can you give me an example for better understanding? Sure. When we buy a ball pen with an intention for daily use, we focus on the quality of ink, flow pattern and we check whether it is leak proof. In this case, we may not give more weightage to aesthetics. Example, a simple pen will suffice the purpose. However, when it comes to gifting a ball pen, we will give high weightage to looks, and packaging, etc. So, we will choose a good branded product. Conformance to specification. Quality Guru Crosby defines quality as conformance to specification. Again, let's take a look at an example of this. In the example, the length of screw is supposed to be maintained within plus minus 0.5 mm. Okay, all three cases below will be of acceptable quality. However, the one with variation within plus minus 0.1 will be treated as better quality than other two cases. Now, the standard for quality vocabulary ISO 8402 defines quality as totality of characteristics of an entity that bear on its ability to satisfy stated and implied needs. ISO 9000 defines quality as degree to which set of inherent characteristics fulfill the requirement. Okay, so when somebody buys our product or services, we become suppliers and are expected to follow certain rules in order to satisfy the customer needs. These needs are sometimes stated clearly and sometimes implied. Let's take an example here. 